Today we're making birria tacos. We're gonna be making our own tortillas. It's gonna be a mixture of corn flour and wheat flour so that you get the pliability of the wheat flour and you get the flavor that you get from corn tortillas mixed into one. It's gonna be absolutely spectacular. We're gonna make our own consomme and we're gonna make everything as authentic as we possibly can. It's gonna be simple, it's gonna be fast because we're gonna be using the Instant Pot. Pressure cooking this, the beef cheeks are gonna fall apart and shred and it's gonna be absolutely wonderful. All right, let's start off by making our chili paste. I'm gonna be taking dried guajillo chilies and a couple of dried hatch chilies, and then I'm gonna be adding them to this hot water. I'm gonna throw them in the blender with some beef stock, blitz them up. That's gonna help season and flavor our birria tacos, and it's gonna help make our consomme. So, here we go. You cut these things open, just like this here. Throw them in the water. If you don't have a Mexican supermarket by you, Check the links in the description down below and uh, you can find out where to find these guajillo chilies, the hatcherine chilies, and the ancho paste in the description down below. The seeds hold a lot of the uh, spiciness, but since these are dried, a little bit of that has gone to the wayside. Make sure that they're all in there and we're gonna let this steep. Later. All right, so the chilies have been steeping for about 15 minutes. But now we're gonna combine everything into this blender, blitz it up, and get it ready for the Instant Pot. Let's take all of these chilies, and as you can see how pliable they are right now, we're gonna take them, carefully place them into the blender, try to get everything, and then again, we're not getting rid of this water just yet. We're gonna be using a little bit of that inside of this marinade. This water has a lot of the flavors of these chilies in it, Imagine it to be just like a very spicy, I don't know, tea, if you will. Would you like this cup of tea? I don't think you'd want to drink this. Maybe a little honey? I don't know. Maybe that's good. Probably not. Oh, hell no. In here, I have two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of thyme, and two teaspoons of Mexican oregano. Throw that in there. In here, I have a tablespoon of ancho chili paste and two tablespoons of salt. Four garlic cloves. Now, this might not be traditional, but what I'm gonna be doing is adding just a little bit of pineapple juice because I feel like it gives it a little bit more depth of flavor. It gives it a fruity note and I like pineapples. So I'd say, About that much, quarter of a can, third of a can, half of a can. What? All right, here I have four cups of homemade beef broth. I'm gonna about two cups inside of this, and then we're gonna blitz it up. So I reserved a little bit of this water. I'm gonna take, right now, one tablespoon, Two, three, four. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Let's turn this into some consomme. Just keep going until everything's a liquid. No chunks, everything will be gone. I have five pounds of Actually, it's like five and a half pounds of beef cheek. A lot of people will remove a lot of the beef cheek fat. I say nay nay. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. We are not going to be removing beef cheek fat because I want the oil from the beef cheek fat to be a part of the consomme. Is it going to be slightly extra? Yeah, because there's a lot of intramuscular fat, but I'm a firm believer in fat is flavor. It helps carry a lot of the flavors. So I'm not gonna be removing much, if anything, from these beef cheeks. Where did I get these beef cheeks? Sam's Club. Where can you get beef cheeks? Sam's Club. I've actually bought them at Meyers before. Walmart, Sam's Club, I don't know if uh, Kroger's has it. I'm sure that you can find beef cheek. Some salt on here. 
not too much because we have a lot of salt in that paste that we made earlier. Add that, a little bit of black pepper. Let's flip these guys over. Get the other side, a little bit of salt. Pepper, black pepper, beef tallow. Wagyu beef tallow, gonna put in a little bit so that we can sear up these beef cheeks. So try to make sure that that stainless steel is coated. Now we're gonna take this, we're gonna try to sear it. All right, I got one seared up, another one is searing up right now. We're gonna take this one, we're gonna throw it in there. Dude, I wish, I wish you could smell this. And as soon as you turn around and make this recipe, you'll be able to smell this. Now I'm gonna add both beef cheeks into this and we're gonna add our consomme marinade into this. We're gonna put it under pressure with a little bit more of my homemade beef stock and then we're gonna bring it up to pressure, cook it for around 45 minutes and then we're gonna go and shred it up and move on to building our tacos. We're gonna reserve about half of this. So take the other one, throw that in there, coat this a little bit more. Now I started off with four cups of beef broth. I added two to the uh, marinade. I have about two left. I'm gonna add one right now, give or take. Reserve one for later. If I need to thin out the consomme or add a little bit more flavor to the consomme. Pressure cook. So let's move on to our tortillas. So I have my masa harina, my flour, general purpose. I have my fat that I'm gonna be adding to this and my warm water. One cup of flour. One cup of masa. Now this should make roughly around 16 tortillas. If you need to double it, double it. Beef tallow, if you don't have beef tallow, you know what you should do is go to the description down below, grab some beef tallow so you can make this properly. About three quarters of a cup of beef tallow. All right, now I'm gonna start mixing it together and as this all comes together, and then I get a bunch of little crumbles inside of this thing. As you can see here, one teaspoon of salt. Work that all together. I'm gonna add a splash of my marinade. Now, slowly, with one hand, start to pour in warm water. We're gonna take this, make a cohesive dough, and then for the remainder of the time that the meat is under that pressure cooker, we're gonna wrap this thing up for around 30 minutes to an hour to even overnight. If you wanna make this the day before, take it out of the bowl here. Continue kneading. Get all this stuff married together. I believe I have enough water in here. Wrap this up. That's it, you have your dough. You're gonna let this rest in the fridge for around 20 minutes, half hour, 45 minutes, an hour overnight. So, in the fridge, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I have my dough that has been in the fridge and it has been in there for around 35, 45 minutes. And we're gonna be trying to divide this up as equally as possible, pressing it out. Now I have this Ziploc bag here because I'm gonna be cutting this and cutting it down the sides and that's going to help with our tortilla press, make sure that the dough does not stick to it. Take my knife, and that is why you should buy a Dow Strong knife. The idea is to get 16 equal lumps of dough. I think we are good to go. Open up your press, open up your Ziploc, you put it in here, you got the hinge side and you got the crease side. Kind of works out. So you have the hinge side over here, you put the crease of the bag over there. Now you take your ball, put it in the center, Take this and you press. Now this, 
thin it because you're gonna have a thinner side and a thicker side because of the way that the action of this hinge works. So now you take it, you press once more. Now you got yourself a tortilla. All right, flip. Oh, good Lord, that looks good. Get yourself another one, take it, flipper. Oh. Take the one that has rested, set that to the side. All right, now let's move on to shredding the meat. I'm gonna throw it right on this plate and I'm just gonna shred it up with my hands. I have liners underneath these rubber gloves so that the heat will not be affecting my hands. God, this smells absolutely... Look at this, it's just falling apart. Oh, I really wish that you could smell this. Look at this, look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God! Wow. I've still reserved about a quarter cup of the water that I steeped the peppers in. And I'm going to be taking a bunch of the juices that came from pressure cooking this. I'm gonna add it to this, and that is going to be our consomme. So oily, so rich. This is gonna be freaking spectacular. Take my cilantro. Throw that in there. Take your lime. Zest your lime. Slice. Take this quarter. Hey, that's pretty good. From here, we're going to be cutting up a little bit more cilantro. So I'm using a red onion. I would suggest using a white sweet onion. But, you know, you do what you want. If you have red onions, if you have white onions, if you have yellow onions, hell, if you got shallots, use those. But this is what I had, so this is what I'm gonna go with. Cut these fine. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. I happen to be using an extra sharp cheddar. I really like the sharp nature of this. And it melts properly and everything is nice. I'm gonna put some avocado oil in here. Look at that. All right. Now when we do this, gonna have to move kind of quickly here. Put that down there. Put this one down there. Take some of the meat here. Now that right in the center. More of the meat. Now that right in the center. There. Some of the cilantro, a little bit of there. A bit of onions, right there. There. Now cover it in cheese. Cover it in cheese. You're gonna take, and you gotta fold. And this is gonna be a mess, but it's intended to be. And you smash. I can tell you from the smells, from the taste of that consomme, and everything in between, this is going to be. Just a heavenly bite of food. All right, here we go. Now you take these, these little flavor bombs here, then you dip. Oh my goodness. You just dip and you love it. Absolutely gonna love it. I know it. Ooh, it's hot. The mixture between the corn and the flour, it is absolutely fantastic. Dude, please make this. Hopefully I can get some people to try this on camera for you tomorrow. Cheers. Oh my god. Oh, so it's so oh, yeah. good. It's so good. Fantastic. Full flavor. Oh my god. Mm. I swear I didn't pay them. This is a very good taste. 
I actually love the tortilla. Yes. It's very good. I don't even know if you need the sauce, man. Oh, very good. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this recipe. Leave comments for what you want me to make in the future. Uh, check out my merch store right there. And remember, follow me on all my social medias. That's about it. Bye, everybody.